Welcome to another in the continuing series of 4 Minute Fridays by TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I'm a Senior Application Engineer here at TPM. Today our topic is going to be an easy way to manage your blocks in AutoCAD using tool palettes. So with that said, let's switch over to AutoCAD. Okay, now we're over here in AutoCAD. First off, we're on the View tab of the ribbon. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn tool palettes on. So now I have them over here. And they can be floating or docked. I happen to have mine floating on the left. I mean, excuse me, docked on the left. Um, now out of the box, they give you lots of different uh, tool palettes. And these are really sample tool palettes to show you some of the things you can do with it. But what we obviously want to do is put our own blocks and our own symbols on here. So that's what our, our topic today is about. Now the tool that we're going to use to create this is going to be Design Center. So let's open up Design Center. Now I'm already in the folder that I want to be in, but if not, you know, you would simply use your tree over here on the left hand side to maneuver to wherever you needed to be. Now there are two distinct ways we can organize our blocks. Not one wrong, one right, but two distinct ways. The first way is to organize your blocks into folders. So for each palette you want on the tool palette, put the blocks that you want on that palette in a single folder. Now I prefer that organization method because I can just as easily use the old fashioned way and browse to blocks and, and insert them the old way using that methodology as well as the tool palettes. Some people, however, like to organize their blocks by drawings. So what they'll do is they'll put an individual drawing file for each palette and put in that drawing all the blocks that they want on that palette. So we're going to show you an example of how to do both ways today. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use this um, folder. So all the blocks, which these are all the blocks inside that folder, we're going to make into a tool palette. Now to do that in Design Center, I'm simply going to right click on the folder and go create tool palette of blocks. And it's not going to take it very long. And you will see over here on the left, in fact I'll go over here so it'll stay open, um, it created a tool palette and every single one of the blocks that was in that folder is now a button on that tool palette. Now we'll come back and use them here in a minute so let's move on to our second method. Now our second method is if our blocks are organized within one single DWG file. Now to do that I right click on my DWG file and go create tool palette. Now this might take a tiny bit longer on this one because there were a whole lot of blocks inside that drawing, but it's the same concept. It's going to take every single block that is in that DWG file and make it into a button on our tool palette. And here we are. We have every single block that was within that drawing is now a button on our tool palette. Now that's how we're going to use Design Center. So I'm going to go ahead and close Design Center. Now right now I have those two palettes so I can switch back and forth between them. But I've also got all this other stuff that I really don't need. I'd really only like to see the ones that I've created. And maybe I even want to create multiple groups. So maybe I want to have a, a group for all my imperial symbology and another group for all my metric symbology or, or however things are broken down into your world. So I'm going to go over here and we're going to customize. Now I right clicked on the title bar and I'm going to go to customize palettes. Now when you're customizing your palettes, if you're going to make a new group, you really want to uh, collapse the one at the bottom so you can right click out here and go new group and that new group will be in a line with all these groups as opposed to a subgroup off of your last one. So I'm just going to call it demo. 
So now we have a new group called demo and nothing is in that group as we speak. And I want to put this details folder that we created in there. And I also wanted to do that Wilhelm palette that we created. So now I have dragged and dropped the two different palettes that I want in that group. So let's close this. Now to activate that group, you right click on your title bar and all your groups will be listed down here. And I got a bunch of them in this one, but I'm going to click on demo. And now I have those two groups that I created. One of the details, which was the folder that had blocks in it, and the other one from Wilhelm, which was a drawing that has blocks in it. Now to use them, you could double click on the block, and then you're dragging it by a cursor and place it out here. Or if you prefer, you can drag and drop. So you can either, you know, double click which is probably easier if you're snapping to things and if you're just throwing things out there including the kitchen sink let's just drag and drop it out there now let's go to the details tab let me zoom out a little bit because these are big details and just throw a few of these out here so I'm gonna click on this one and plop it and uh, this one so as you can see it's real easy just to sit there and insert blocks out of your library into your drawing so to recap we used design center which you get to right up here on your view palette in order to browse to and right click on the folder and or drawings that we wanted to create a tool palette of. We turn on and off our tool palettes right here on the design center and it made these two tool palettes for us. One from a folder and one from a file. This has been another presentation in the series of 4 Minute Fridays from TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I want to thank you for joining us and invite you to come back and watch again. Thank you.